All right, welcome back again to our uh, Over the Wire Bandit walkthrough. So we're going over level 22, 23. Um, these are not required for the Cyber 256 course. However, I am just going to finish out the walkthrough for uh, the entire Bandit series. All right, so for starters, we'll go back to open up our terminal again. SSH. Bandit 22 bandit.labs.overthewire.org on port 2220. Um, we're going to go back, grab that password from last time, um, and we are going to input that in here. All right, so now we have access. Uh, let's go back and look. So for this level, um, we have a program that's running uh, at regular intervals from Cron, the time-based job scheduler. Look in Etsy Cron uh, for the configuration to see what command is being executed. All right. Um, and we're also going to be looking at uh, shell scripts today as well, uh, according to this note. So coming back over... Um, Let's just automatically navigate to that uh, Etsy cron.d folder. Um, so we have all of these in here. We're already on level uh, 22, but we need to be looking at uh, bandit 23 there. So we're just going to cat that file. Cat the cron job underscore bandit. 23. All right, so if we look every time at reboot, um, it's going to run this, and then essentially any output that uh, comes out from this is going to be thrown into uh, the the abyss of darkness uh, on Unix. That's that's essentially what the dev null folder is. Is uh, it's essentially a place where uh, everything can just be thrown out um, for output. All right, so we need to navigate and look at this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that directory again to uh, USR bin uh, cronjob underscore, or my bad bin ls um, you can see in the uh, bin folder we have all of all of these different things but this is what we're looking for here this cron job bandit bandit 23.sh right so bin is typically where you'll find uh, all of the different uh, appropriate um, system uh, files for programs um, so you even have Python uh, 3 in here as well as Python 2. Uh, to give you a reference, these blue ones are actually just links to whatever these are. So if we look at Python 2, uh, Python 2 actually references Python 2.7. However, um, that is not we are, what we're here to look at. So let's go back cat cron job underscore bandit. 23.sh. Alright, so we want to see what exactly is in here, right? So we have the start of the file here, um, and then we have a variable my name. And what my name is doing is it's running the who am I command here. So the same as running who am I, right? And it pulls this variable. However, this is running for bandit 23 in the cron job as the bandit 23 user. So this would be replaced with bandit 23. Um, we also have this next one called my target, right? Um, and essentially it's also running this command here, um, which we can put there, but it would take my name, which we got it from here, and that's just the who am I command, right? So that would be bandit 23. So if we continue looking, um, it just copies the password 
over um, from there, or I should say it echoes that it's copying this password over. So there is an output for this uh, shell uh, script. Um, and then um, essentially they're catting the output for that password from there to whatever this is. Um, that would be uh, temp. And then judging by this, it looks like it's taking the echo I am user blank, whatever that, that user is. It's then converting it to an MD5 hash. And then um, it's doing some modifications to, to the delimiter of, of those spaces, right? So um, let's, let's just look at this first. Is this, is this a way we can actually gain access to this, right? So let's just run cat etsy bandit underscore pass and then bandit 23, right? Um, and then there's permission denied. And the reason for that, if we come here, pass let's let's look here ls tag hal um, and then we find bandit 23 um, it is only readable to the user bandit 23 right so you have uh, owner and group um, is only to bandit 23 and we are bandit 22 all right, so let's clear that again. Um, come back up, and let's look at that again. All right, so this command is taking the output of this and uh, moving it to this temp my target. Right, so my target again is this here. Right, so if we start looking at that command that's in there, so echo, I am user, and then we take that username of who am I, because this is supposed to be ran by bandit23. We can just put bandit23 in here, right, and then we need to convert it to an MD5 uh, hash, MD5 sum, and then also that delimiter. Right, so cut D space attack F one, right? And that's gonna give us this, right? So this is uh, the value of my target in here. And we can see that my target is the name of the, uh, the file that uh, this is outputting that password to from cat. So now if we run cat, temp and then I'm just going to copy this and we're going to paste it here there's our password so again if you have any questions uh, feel free to put those in the comments below otherwise uh, thank you for watching